There are plenty of barriers that the families we deal with face in getting connected to social recreation programs. Um, one, in, one in three Canadian families right now has trouble um, paying for programs and connecting their kids to a social rec in their community. The costs for program registrations are very high, equipment is very expensive. It can also be a, an issue of family instability. Um, a parent is working a precarious job, perhaps they're a single parent. They don't have the opportunity to really get to know how to uh, interject themselves into the system. We've only been here a year and I was concerned like how would I coordinate or know where to go or resources to have my kids do something outside of school. Well, I like Social Rec Connect because they usually they help me with things I want to do in my life, so if I wanted to play football, they would help me. I go to the Dorf Youth Center, so I usually use it for facilities to do my homework and projects and stuff. And then on Wednesdays, I go to learn guitar. I'm not that good. I can only do smoke on the water, like, a little bit, but, like, you know, I'm still learning. First, they gave me what I've always wanted to do, track. They help me with homework when the days I go. Some families or a person may not feel they have support, and I think Social Rec Connect is a good start. I feel like people can better themselves there. Uh, we have the potential to reach thousands of kids uh, that we can give opportunities to get engaged in uh, social recreational activities, homework clubs, uh, sports activities, and uh, we, we as a community, I think, have the, uh, the willpower, we have the, uh, the, the partners at the table to make this a great program and to build upon the great successes that we've had so far. They help everyone, not just one particular person. They help everyone in need. So if you want to do something, you should go there because they will help you do it. 